really, really soft elbows that are kind of against your body in this manner, okay? And again, the elbows then are set soft so that during the stroke, the elbows are actually staying soft and with more contact onto your side. Okay, so if I, if I wasn't, if I was doing that with a, with a tilting almost and without the softer elbows with contact on the side, it could look more like this. You know, my elbows getting space there. My elbows are getting space on the follow through as opposed to the way we would want you to do it would be the elbows very soft on the side, the handles moving because of this, the handles moving very little, okay? And the club head is moving a lot, sort of in a manner like this. You see my right elbow is just folding very softly back this direction on the follow through. My left elbow is folding softly in this direction and I'm taking very little divot, I'm just brushing the ground, okay? This is the easiest way to expose the bounce, okay? And I'm, my feeling will be that I'm actually hitting these shots by thumping the ground with the bottom of the club, with the sole of the club. Okay, so my elbows are soft. Along the lines of the Utley method? Yeah, yeah, very much. I mean, I, um, I learned from um, a, lot, a lot of what I learned, I learned from Fred Griffin and Phil Rogers. Phil Rogers designed the wedges for Cobra. I spent a lot of time with those guys while I was playing, and then it would go and observe. And, and they spend time, I know I know Fred has spent time actually teaching and working with Stan Utley, and um, okay. they, it's basically this, they taught very, yeah. very similar way, very similar method. Um, <clears throat> so the, the other biggest difference would be that if Eric, will you set that shaft there like to show the plane again? The other biggest difference would be that rather than the sensation of the left shoulder going down and the club working up the plane, okay, we're going to want you to have a feeling of the elbows being soft, the handle moving very little, the club head moving more, and the club head swinging more under the plane. Okay? Now, if we were to videotape this, it is not going to appear much under the plane at all. But the sensation is going to be that the stroke is a little bit more under the plane. Again, it would, it would appear fairly fairly on the plane because of the way the right elbow folds and and that starts to, you know, hinge the club up. So it's not going to, it would, it, when I say under the plane, I don't want you to get the impression that it's actually looking like this, okay? It's just a sensation that the toe of the club is swinging as the right elbow stays soft and it's working under the plane. One of the best sensations we can give and one of the ways we teach it is to have the feeling that the knuckles on the back of the right hand, okay, are sort of brushing along the turf on the back and the through stroke. So kind of, about the card. kind of in this, yeah, like, would be for the, you know, so it would be like almost dealing, you know, dealing cards. So you're dealing cards to your right, you know, and you know, like nobody, fan, nobody deals cards that motion. way actually, but yeah, sort of a fanning motion in this regard, okay? So <coughs> again, from a, just a general technique standpoint, your weight is still forward. Yes, the left shoulder still is working down a little bit, okay? But the elbows are much softer on your side. The handle is moving far less amount than what the club head is moving, okay? And the club head is swinging much more inward or rotating what feels like underneath the plane rather than straight up and down the plane, okay? Again, straight up and down the plane would look more like that. That's fanning motion of the right hand or the knuckles along the ground club head rotating more, sort of under the plane, would look more like that, okay? See the difference?